guys i think i'm live hang on i forgot i put my finger on the camera lens earlier we forgot open so we're going to be playing with some new products today let's just get a few out try and brighten that up that's a bit better Space is really limited here at the minute. I'm trying to think if I've got an alternative I can use, but I don't think I have, to be perfectly honest. So, hi, hi Joe. Um, the plan today is using these, they are not new to me, but they are new to you guys is using the new um, uh, Spectrum Aqua Tint pots. I'm just doing the share out while you guys are all hopping on the feed. Can't spell apparently. That's right. I'm going to do it into the Spectrum Live. No, the Connoisseurs Group. <gasps> no. Mm. Sorry, guys. I did copy and paste, but it's not um, copied it. So how is everybody? Let's give people a chance to say hi and all that jazz while I am doing my thing. Uh, I think that's correct. Hiya. Hi Vicky, hi Laura. So, those of you that know Spectrum Laura are aware of their sparkle pots. And these are effectively pretty sure the colors are the same i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they are because i have a limited number of the sparkle pods but i seem to have the whole collection of the aqua tints and feeling you there sweetie you'll be shattered together so these are as you can probably see these are the sparkle colors here and as i say i have a limited these are the only ones I've got. But they run alongside. So these are the sparkles. These are the aqua tints. So the colours are the same. Um, so this is the colour range that I have available. And all these as well. So if I bring it down to the bottom. Uh, let's zoom you out a bit. 
so this is the color range that we have in the pots so today i've wanted to do this for i i don't know how long months and months and months i've been wanting to do this um and i have these pads of aquafine postcards so they're watercolor they're watercolor paper but they're postcards so you can buy it on the back if you want to have a good cough john go on i know you want to <laughs> coffee man's in the background if you hadn't worked that out <laughs> coughing away oh yuck not fun hi erica okay so that's what we're going to do today so we're going to make watercolor polaroids and we're going to be doing these watercolor polaroids with these aqua tints because you'll see on my social media over the next few days several of the images i made with the aqua tints and i'm really really pleased with how they came out And I don't know if any of you have seen my normal status. I can't remember if I shared it in the group actually. But um, nearly all of the images, apart from three, which I think might have gone over to America, were shown on Create and Craft the other day um, for the launch. So that was quite good. I'm almost ready. Almost. Um... Oh, is that my first or second line? No, I don't remember. First, so my second line is I've cut myself a little template. So they're not going to be true Polaroid sizes, but I, it's just something I've seen potter about and I've always wanted to have a go. And I love the idea of having this collection of watercolour Polaroids. And these inks are away i forgot to these inks are absolutely perfect to do that with now a little goes an extremely long way Ugh. come on They're really, really rich in pigment. I can't even, like, stupidly rich in pigment. And they flow really beautifully. But if you keep an eye out on my social media over the next few days, you'll see all the different images that I've done with them. Where I'm getting longer and longer I'm going to try and save this tape for the next one so I don't know how many I'm going to get done I'm probably going to spend an hour because if I'm perfectly honest I am absolutely cream crackered um, so we're just going to taping it down will also help with the buckling of the paper so it shouldn't buckle as much we shouldn't have as much issue I've already sort of collected a few ideas of what I want to do and things that I've done previously. So I'm going to have a hunt around for the colours that I want and I'm going to, I don't know whether I'll get time to type the colours out. Um, but we're going to go with Moonlight. It's just so little room in here right now acetate as well because it's really nice to work on acetate this is this is my collection in here um so we want moonlight which is in the shades of spring is that moonlight? that's moonlight we want i want something quite let's go red berry red berries in the winter warmers collection no, that's 
so the red which I think is slightly on the orange side can't even see it here but I want to go for red berry anyway if I can it's macaroon pink garnet have I already pulled it out I already pulled it out that's why donut red berry then Fig or amethyst? I think I'm going to go amethyst. And then we're going to go blue and then black. So blue, I am going to go starry night. And starry night's in the winter warmers. Star, oh, hang on. Starry sky? Starry sky. And then we want black. Black, 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 black. Onyx black. So we've got four colours happening at the minute. I need my kitchen bowl. And yeah, let's do this. I'm going to do this slightly differently. I normally work on dry, but I'm actually going to work on wet today. I'll make sure I don't leak that purple. So there's some purple on that big kitchen bowl. So I've got two pots of water, um, clean, dirty, so I'll always go into one and then I'll go into the other, which will help. And I also have the old, um, this was the original Aquatints palettes, I think, but I'm just going to use this if I want to do any mixing. So we're going to work from our lightest, which is the Shades of Spring, then we're going to go into the Red Berry, then we're going to go into the Amethyst. Then we're going to go into the blue and then we're going to go into the black. So I've just got my brushes and let's just wet the whole lot. As I say, you need so little of this colour. You'll see as I go on. I want to give it a really good smushing over because I want it to spread quite far. So if I have to go over it again with water, I will. So they're just little pots of colour. I'm wondering if this will be strong enough. We'll soon find out. So I don't know if you can see that. I'm literally just very gently dipping in. I haven't even dried my brush off. Uh, let's go that way. You see how intense that colour is? I should have probably undone all the lids because I may need to do more than one coating. Come on. The only thing I will be doing, and this is more for me, is I'm going to be transferring them all into little squirty pots so it makes it easier for me to use. See how far that's spreading. So we're going to go in with the red berry. And I've just literally the tiniest dip. I don't even know if you saw that. I cleaned that brush off. The tiniest little dip, literally just in the end. And then we'll go in again. Going in there. And then I'm just going to blend those together a bit more. bit of water down and then we get a bit more of a graduation between the two I'm looking through the um, it's so easy to look through OBS to get a nice idea of how it's looking okay so let's give that a clean and then we want to go in with our purple and this purple is so ridiculously intense If you just want to soften the wash between them, just add some water. Pull up some of that, it's a bit too wet down that side. OK, 
okay we've got a little bit of room left for the blue it doesn't matter so much how far we go up because there'll be black going on there just try and pick up that bit I've just honestly it's insane how intense these this is my pot of water already that's my pot of water I'm try and lift where it splotted there And again just blend that out a little bit I have got my hair dryer with me should I feel I want to go down that route a bit more but I think I want to add a little bit more orange in here intensify that color it's going to the second jar now And back in with the yellow let's just get that black on so I'm double jarring it as I said is just scoop up where it's starting to gather it's all very quiet tonight Tiny touch more blue, she says. That's how intense that colour is. Just brush some of that away and go back in with that purple. Both my jars are completely black now. That is how intense that colour is. Think what I'm quite tempted to do so he's getting the hair dryer out and it starts to pick up any excess the color on that tissue how cool is that Yeah, do you know, I think everyone is really feeling it this time round. I don't quite know what this has picked up here. But I know that I want to bring... I might actually have to go and get some clean water in a minute. I think that'll do. Coffee man, mm -hmm. I apologise, mm -hmm. but both my pots are completely black. You wouldn't be able to get me another pot of clear, would you please? Pot of clear? Water. Mm -hmm. See how black they've gone already? Oh, Here, yeah, there. If you take that one. Thank you. Sorry. Can I get that? Any 
need to wait till he's here really with the clean water and I can brush it all out and then do another run over with the oops kitchen roll thank you there we go clean water This is probably the last layer I'm going to do. And then we'll move on to the next lot of colours. Right, make sure the kitchen roll's clean this time. Uh, le Hi, Leslie. I think we're all feeling a bit of the old winter blues right now. A few people going through it, I think. I want that black to come down because I want to add more in the way of stars, so. undecided what I'm going to put. I'm going to basically draw um, almost like a silhouette. I'll hire them out for £20 an hour. Cheapest chips. He's probably wondering what the hell is she on about. I'm hiring you out, coffee man. Okay. Uh, a big blob of Blues. I'm going to have to wait for that to dry. I'm going to loosely put the caps on them because I think I'll end up using those again. Let's put the caps properly on the blue and the black. Ordinarily I'd use my liquid acrylic but I don't know that I want to on this. Right, hair dryer's coming. Block your ears everybody. I'll move the microphone further away. I don't quite know why it's done this padding. I don't mind the effect actually though. Always try and dry underneath if you can. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to be Sunday, isn't it? It's not supposed to be particularly great. Oh, uh, you're a bit too far away. I think you're actually out of his um, out of his zone. He's in a different depot, so I don't think he'd go down as far as you. Um, oh, Leslie was just saying that uh, John from Ocado was delivering her stuff today. Ah. So she thought it might have been you. Where, where's that lady based? Oh, God. Well, I don't think she wants to blurt it out on... Uh, no. What, the Kent area? Or? Yeah, the coastal way. 
think it might still be a bit damp. The only thing with that is if I do anything in the way of standard ink, it will go everywhere. So I'm going to untape these and allow this to dry. Oh, I wonder if I can take it all in one fell swoop. And then we're going to move on to the next colour. I'm probably going to do about four of these. And then once they're dry, I'm going to draw an image on top. Well, that was useless. Okay, this doesn't bode well. Not only is it peeling my paper up, it's not even done its job. So that's annoying. I might use masking fluid. And it's torn it. No, I'm going to have to use masking fluid next time. So even with um, rubbing over cloth, it's torn the paper up. So that's really annoying. So I'll get my Molotow pen and we'll use the Molotow pen next time. did think that but we have had drivers from Bromley really Bromley directional though I think is closer to Leslie than where you are Bromley, be Erith. yeah so in relation if it's Erith then yeah it'd be a little bit closer right okay so that still needs drying off a bit. I'm really annoyed about that. So hopefully the next one won't get ruined when we peel the tape off. Well, it won't because I'll be doing masking. So the plan is, I don't think this is completely straight, which is very annoying. It's not, it's slightly angled. So let me try and straighten this up a tiny touch. That's better. Um, and then we're going to go for like a pastel version. So something that's not quite on the... So these are sort of the colours that we'll be looking at. These ones here. Well, sort of where... Where Herith is and where Hubby is is I think they're the closest depots to down that way full stop aren't they yeah yeah they do a lot of mileage in a day right now I've got to just try and see if I can keep in the lines so it'd be interesting to see how effective the masking fluid works Right, so pastel versions, and I'm going to do it the same. So I'm actually probably going to use the perfect pastel set, which is the rose quartz, the cosmos, and the moonstone. So the rose quartz, oh, that's pink champagne. What did I say? Perfect pastel. Perfect pastels. Where are you? Did I say the word cosmos or did I make that up? No, I did. So cosmos, cosmos. Where's my rose quartz gone? Pink champagne. Peony. Macaroon. Okay, what's going on here? Tell me I'm missing one. Or am I 
absolutely being a numpty. Perfect pastels. Oh man. Oh, I'm as bad as I am with the markers. Okay, so Fig has the lid that I want for rose quartz. So I now need to find rose quartz. The only trouble is, is that's now got Fig liquid in it. Oh, how frustrating. So that's Fig. That's Fig. Bloominick. Right, the, I'm just going to show you how intense these colours are. So this is from the lid. Uh, that's the cleanest bit I can find on this bit of tissue. So you see how dark that colour is. So you need such a small amount. But it means that they're going to last you for so long. Right, that needs to put somewhere because that's no good on my desk. Okay, so you are that one, and you are that one. Yeah, so I want to get pods that I don't have to keep undoing the lids, basically. Like Moonstone. Moonstone. Okay, so we've got our three colours. You might as well stay out, you might as well stay out, you might as well go back for the moment. Why is it me or is it hard being here? I'm trying to think what order I am going to do these. I'm probably going to do them in order, actually, that they're on there. But I'm not going to go any darker than the blue, so I'm going to keep it quite pale. So as I say, I'm going for a little bit of a... I might do some um, silhouette flamingos or something on there. Okay. Oh, I've got to lean my back forward. Okay, rose quartz first. Grubby brush, clean, clean pot, and again, I haven't blue tacked it, have I? Let's blue tack it. Come down, come down, come down, there we go. Now you can see this. Whip. I'll try and stay in the line so as long as I don't put any water outside the line there shouldn't be any problem with it flooding beyond that okay so we start off with our lightest as always which is the rose quartz And I'm going to do this more straight on rather than at an angle. Brush went over a bit. I might have to use a small brush. Dagnam it! Oh man, it's a day for things going wrong, I swear. Oh, nicely recovered there, Benita. still raining now I think okay we're going to need a double layer of quartz I think and now we're going to go in with the cosmos probably nibbling on cheesecake that's what our Erica does. She's always nibbling on something on our live feeds, making me very envious. You had cheesecake last night. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, someone just put me out of my misery. Goodness sake. You know when you've just had a day of fighting with people? I do literally mean 
fighting with people when you shouldn't actually ever need to be. It's just been one of them days. This is the exact reason why I knew I couldn't sit here and do an intensive drawing session this evening because everything going on with dad and my own tiredness, it was never going to happen. Should have blue tapped the top down as well. the risk of ruining it. Hi Emily. Okay, I need to clean up the mess that's ensuing down here. And this side. Perfect or not perfect, I'm still going to make them look lovely at the end, whether it likes it or not. They're going to look like I had every intention of making them look like this. Such a nice set of colours, these three. I need to bring that pink along a bit, don't I, to counteract. I'd like to say this proves that every artist has bad days because that is pretty much it. That colour's a bit better now. It's a, bit, a little bit more intense, which is what I wanted. should have used normally I use the spectrum wallpaper and I'm thinking I probably should have actually used it now Little air, I've got loads of little air bubbles going on now. Right, hair dryer again. I'm not going to use the tissue in case we get that blotting again. Um, but that one's actually dried really nicely. I'll bring that over in a minute. Lids on because I don't want water ink going everywhere.
Right, that's on the tape at the top. Just putting some wet tissue over the bottom, trying to eliminate that overflow, but it's had quite a few, so I doubt it's going to happen. dry over there I think that's dry enough There's still a bit of dampness to the paper because you can see the pen goes from this nice opaque colour to um, translucent. My concern, this side's actually a lot, a lot drier. My concern is, see look, even the paper, I should have used the Spectrum Noir paper, I shouldn't have deviated. It's basically creased, I don't even really see that. There's a big crease in here, which I've never had happen to me, ever. So that's annoyed me a little bit. <sighs> we have a day of mistakes today. I'm probably going to pencil in the design I want first. And it's based on, I haven't got the photo with me, but it's based on a few photos I took when I was on my honeymoon in Orlando. And there's something about their sunsets and their traffic lights I absolutely love. I don't know what it is. Can we please dry it opaque? Just one of you, maybe? It's more opaque through the camera, so that's not a bad thing, I guess. Right, let's see if I can bring my... Where did you go? Nope. I've just realised my blue tack looks like a duck. Why? It, look, can you see? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Something fun happening tonight. I bet everybody who's new to this is thinking, what the hell is this woman doing? She has no clue what she's doing. What a load of rubbish. I can just, I can hear it. Let's, I had a couple of things I wanted to do. I've got to go with the first one. I'm just doing it in pencil first to make sure that I can get it to work, so. I know, if I did it in the black Posca pen, then that might be better than ink. I was trying to think what will give me the result without it bleeding. Bless you, thank you. Somebody needs to. This video is going to flop. Okay, wish me luck, this doesn't bleed everywhere. It does feel quite dry. So far, so good. So far, so good. Right, okay, I'm going to use just the edge of this card to help me get the bit of a thicker line. I'm 
I'm sure when my head's in a better place, this will all sort of go according to plan. But right now, <laughs> let's have a wonky one. might be too thin but I don't think we want oh no perfect should do some little birds flittering about somewhere but I want to do Might need the thicker pen for that. Yeah, I think the thicker pen. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom you in a bit. Just in wibbly bits of tops of trees. No Bob Ross. It's effective though. annoying where it's bled out a bit really so I don't know if you can see that I'm just literally wiggling the pen around not sort of giving it any sort of extensive thought if that makes any sense Maybe if I'd left a little moon space in there, I don't know. That'll do for that one, I think. Um, now, I can't believe I'm probably going to... It's still a bit wet. Let me just scrub the hairdryer again.
Okay, that one's still quite wet, so I'm not going to do anything with that at the minute. There was a cactus one I wanted to do, so I think I'm just going to keep it two colours, like yellow to orange to purple. No, it's three colours. Yellow to orange to purple. I really liked the yellow of the rose quartz. For the sake of ripping my paper again, I'm going to have to do it. It's the only thing that stops it from bowing as much as it is. Let me zoom you out. Yeah, I wanted to do a load of um, like all cactus in the sort of sunset, sunrise, either way. For goodness sake. Come on, can something go right for me today, please? Can you tell this is going to be a short life feed? I should have just got the tiger out, shouldn't I? It's my own fault for... Wanting to have an experimental day. Is that going to be long enough now? Might just. Nope. Let's try that again. I know that's not going to work particularly efficiently, but it will do. That's just absolutely gone. I did think about using my washi tape, but this stuff is normally really, really good. But then I suppose I've not really used it on this paper very often. Do you know what? I fancy actually doing quite a pinky purpley sunset. So I might just do two colours. Yeah, I'm going to do the Cosmos and the Fig, which was the one that I was trying to fix earlier, which is that one. And the fi Fig is a really, really lovely colour. So we'll give that a whirl. We'll see what happens. Can't be any worse than what's happened already, eh? Put it back on the pen. Don't dry that out. I'm not going to paint with Costa. Big brush again. The advantage of the tape is that you can do a large area without worrying too much. It was rose quartz, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was Cosmos you donut. If anyone would like to come over, tuck me in bed. A nice big fat hot chocolate and some energy. That'd be lovely. Right, Cosmos. Oh, so satisfying when it does that. Oh, yeah. And then the fig. Probably do half and half on this.
you see what I mean about the rich pigments and how little you actually need of these products I'm quite tempted I don't know if it will work dry clean brush just to make it look like subtle clouds definitely this paper no, having nothing but issues with that try and get that blend down but that's enough for when I come over and do my cactuses in ink Wonder if tissue's better. Might be. That looks a bit better. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I'll possibly not actually because of time. I did one of those like negative paintings. So you had all the variation in the background when it came to mountains and things like that. Um, and I have recorded all of the designs that I did for Spectrum. So I will be putting them all up in the YouTube ether eventually I've just really got to get this I quite like that this weekend out of the way hopefully make some pennies for Christmas don't think I can have much more pink pigment on there to be honest I'm going to embrace the uh, hole that's happened in here have it like a moon it almost looks like it's raining doesn't it right, let's see if the other one's dry enough now I'll clean up a bit look everywhere Try that again. Still drying, my God, it would have been dry by now on the spectrum paper. All right, let me go over one more time. You guys are probably fed up with hearing it now, so apologies.
Right, I was going to do flamingos on this, but I'm quite tempted because I thought it might leak underneath. But because of the colours that I might do palm trees. What do you guys think? It would, wouldn't it? Didn't work at all. And you're going to tear up. You're the fresh bit, aren't you? I'm going to dry this one off while you guys decide whether or not I do little flamingo. Oh, that was pointless. Look at that. little flamingo silhouettes or whether we do um i'm not even going to try and recover that or whether we do palm trees or both if i can fit them in and if they don't go wrong and look like some strange animal Uh, the art gecko books you should be able to go or just google art gecko um and it should come up i was obviously giving them as part of the package so i don't know yes i will be there is two three types of lizards uh, various types of skin there's more than one snake uh, there's obviously lots of fur. There's husky fur coming out this Friday. The wolf fur coming out next Friday. Uh, let's have a look in the list. So we've got really um, odd textures actually. So this is lizard. Um, what else have we got? Doggies, doggies. We've got tortoise. We've got a frog. Um, so there is loads of different things coming so yeah it will it will be covered at some point there goes the elastic band the worst elastic bands in the world that break after two uses really Erica there's a big difference my lovely between a lizard and a crocodile Yes, I can include that. Uh, I have said if you've got any suggestions, then just to let me know. I've got plenty of alligator and crocodile references from my trip to Orlando. So this is just going to ruin this because my hands are dirty from the inks. I think palm trees. Let's go palm trees. Right, now there is palm tree fronds. We've actually got palm tree on our back garden. I just want to make sure I get the fronds. So if I put in palm tree silhouette, palm tree silhouette. Tell me that's about silhouette light. Blimey, Charlie. Okay, 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 let's, Google might be better than Pinterest, 
palm tree silhouette. Oh, I don't want their sunset. Okay, I am going to draw it in first, I think. Oh, really? Um, I don't even know what I did with the sketchbook. I don't think it's named. No, it's not named. Such good paper for drawing on really is um i had the most basic play just to get an idea of how it worked and the pastels work extremely well um i don't know my lovely and i know that's not a very very good answer because i don't even think that's the right one that come with it coffee man could you grab my one of them that's on the kitchen table, please? Because I think it might have the name on there. He's a good egg. Bless him. Ta -da. Just says, Art Gecko A4 white and black sketchbook. That's all it says. I will Google it after this and see if we can find it. Art Gecko is one word, by the way. Art Gecko A4 white and black sketch pad. There's one on Amazon. That's white. No, I'd need to look into it, Erica. If you um, remind me when we come off the live feed. That seriously can't be the price. No, I was going to say that's wrong completely. Um, but, 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 but. They are on um, Instagram if you wanted to message them on Instagram. But if you want to message me, I will try and find out. Oh dear, bless her. Emily's a bit poorly. She's um, She was up four times the other night. And we couldn't work out why. And obviously now we know because she had a cold coming. I really should just be brave and try and do this without drawing it first. But I'm not brave, so I'm not going to. Little fireworks on the end of sticks. Uh, Facebook? pretty sure they have a Facebook just pop me a message and I'll grab it when I come off the live I think it was an old promotional box I was given anyway because of the hearts in it um, but I was mightily impressed with the quality of the pads actually This isn't going to look like a palm tree whatsoever by the end of this. Oh dear. She's feeling proper poorly then, bless her. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm just making lines. Anybody been watching the War of the Worlds? No, it's not terrible. It's looking ish. All sort of pre jammed and thick here so I'm going to get my brush to get some solid the birds we have in our garden absolutely adore the seeds that these produce and we get so many just sitting in there nibbling away at all the berries and then you see these uh, cats trying to get as far up the tree as they can That's come out right, isn't it? Better than I thought it would, if I'm honest. trunk a bit thicker I think they're really nice to have in the garden but they can um, they can be really invasive if you're not careful um, Coffee Man, what is the official name of these trees? What tree? Oh, the palm tree. Official name? Mm. Ooh, I don't know, that's Google it. I thought you'd know. Well, I don't know, because that is a palm tree. Because your dad's a gardener? Yeah, it's not Carol Dean. No, but he knows the name. Oh, I can't remember now. E.C. Palmy Maxima. Okay. <laughs> That's the new name. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a woman's name. Bethel. How, when was the last time you heard the name Bethel? I don't know. 1935. It was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get the staff. It's quite dulled down in my camera, but it's not. It's a bit more impactful than it's making out. That's the closest thing to a palm that I'm going to be able to draw, I think. I'm too scared to put this big black mass on the back, but that's what it has in the little reference that I'm looking at, so... I don't know. It's next door's cat's favourite tree to run up and down.
we've got an offshoot of it growing next to it as well if you don't if you don't dig them up as i say they can get quite evasive and grow actually quite quickly which you wouldn't have thought in our climate but that'll do should i have something this side what can i have that's not palm tree I do like the telephone poles, but I don't know if it's going to be a bit random having a telephone pole. I'm just wondering if I have a little flamingo peeking from the bottom. They do climb it, yes. That's their favourite thing. They go shooting up the garden. And then they look like people that are going up collecting coconuts and they're literally just jumping up this tree. They love it. I put oh tropical sunset. I wonder what would come up. I want to put something else on there, but I don't know what. Tropical sunset. Uh, if I put a horizon in the background, it's going to break it up and look odd. I suppose I could. I don't know what to do. Quite tent. I'll oh, just do it, Benita. It's not like you're Van Gogh at the moment, is it? I'd like to say it's good for their nails, but it doesn't seem to make a blind bit of difference, actually. But next door's cats. She's got um, a couple that just literally chase each other around this tree. That'll do. It just needed something to fill the corner. I'll do my cactuses in a minute. Why is it no matter the sunset you have to have birds? <laughs> the birds. That'll do. There you go. We have love from Ibiza. Okay, they've turned out horrendous on this paper. I've never had, as I say, I've never had this happen when I've used Spectrum Noir paper. So, a little bit annoyed. I could have done a flipping dolphin. Erica, why didn't you speak up sooner? Could have done a uh, little whale whale tail or something, couldn't I? Right, let's do these cacti. Cacti, cacti silhouettes. What shape do I want to do? Probably your traditional cowboy one, I suppose. I'm going to try the Posca Black this time, purely because it's wider. Yeah, it's eating up this paper. Cat 
this. What I'll do is when I've done the main bits, I'll go back and add some little spikes, and maybe a little flower silhouette. I had one of these. Coffee Man killed it. Yeah, he did. And if you were to value it, it would have been worth a few hundred pounds because we'd had it, I rescued it actually from one of them pound sections from the garden centre. Um, and it always used to go out in the summer and then come back in in the winter. But because it was too heavy for me to carry in at that time on my own because it had got so big, it got left out there and it died and I wasn't very happy. Do a little one there. And we're gonna do a big one here. We're gonna have another little one. And we'll have a little one this side with a big bit on the top. Quite fun. Looks silly, but fun. If I get my Zero, zero, five. I don't know what the flowers look like actually on cactuses, just like that, I suppose. Does that look weird? No, that doesn't look terrible. I get a bit more petal shape. on here they're a very flowery bunch to think of some sayings that I might put on the bottom of these. Make it a bit more something that you can hang in the office. Not sentimental but maybe um, uh, not an affirmation either. What's the word I'm thinking of? Probably should have done the spikes a bit bigger, but <laughs> they look proper fairy, don't they? Hairy cacti. No, is cacti the singular or is cacti the plural? I thought cacti was the plural. The sun and the cloud bit worked out quite well, didn't it? And 
And of course, we've got to have a couple of birds. We need some stars on this one, I think. And we need to add the stars on the other one as well. I'm going to put too many on here. Just sort of at the very top, really. Where's my jelly roll? Because we want some smaller ones. Left the lid off, didn't I? Just try and keep them a bit more sporadic, really. any more on here actually but I'm gonna do it anyway because that's me what a cute little trio there we go so I've left the pots out so what I will do is probably tomorrow um, I will write down the colors that I have used but overall, I think they've come out all right, apart from the obvious, which is really annoying. So I might, I might actually either paint it or um, put some fancy washi tape around it. I quite fancy putting some fancy washi tape around it. Oh, fancy! Oh, fancy! Um, yeah, so. On that note, as it's not been the particularly most exciting live feed for you guys, is that an odd one just to be awkward? Let's go and view exactly what we've used, and you can see it all. So they're the pots that we've used. To make the three. It's quite nice, isn't it? I quite like the, the whole Polaroid effect. I think it works really, really well. Yeah, when I'm a bit more copus mentis and I know what I'm doing, then I'll probably actually do a proper tutorial video on it rather than it being on a live feed. I'll see how things pan out over the next week um, but I'm really really pleased with how they've come out especially that one actually I'm quite pleased with that it's just been nice to do something different hasn't it and I needed to do something different with my hands <laughs> need a good a good scrub as I say they're really really good products really good and you need such a small amount that they will just go so far if, if you want a sneaky peek I will show you a sneaky peek because I've only shown a couple. I don't know how many of you follow me on Instagram. Um, but let me show you. Uh, the ones that I have done. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Pixar. Okay, so these are the ones that I did. For Spectrum, if you haven't seen it on the TV, then you wouldn't have seen these. But these are the ones that were on telly. So you had that one. You had that one. So all these I have recorded and I will not be time lapsing them. They will go on as full time videos. Not necessarily a talk over tutorial because I had to get them done but actually some of these were only done in about half an hour the pug that one did take a little while the winter berries my fish which I'm really pleased with he's I just adored doing that absolutely adored it um, and then we have our lady which I've posted recently 
uh, the car, the hummingbird, I think, oh, and that one, which is why I'm obsessed with doing silhouettes at the minute. And actually, the clouds have worked out really, really well on that. And I even managed to get, I don't know if it is called that, but we always used to call it God's Fingers. So I was quite pleased with that. And then the tigers. And again, all these will be um, will be process videos on YouTube at some point. But as I say, with everything that's going on with Dad at the moment and with my own health, it's probably best I get that sorted out before I concentrate too much on everything else at the moment. So on that note, my lovelies, um, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whichever it may be while you're watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you very much for joining and I apologise about the whole mess. But we got there in the end. Anyway, have a good night everybody. Bye!